Okay, here's your recipe uh, if you want to slow it down so you can read it. We have the power to do so. So we'll start off with uh, the recipe. My recipe is a double batch. So you start off, your recipe is 550 grams of plain flour, 25 grams of olive oil, one tablespoon of instant yeast, but if you don't, you can just use what I use and make this mess. I guess I left it too long. And uh, one tablespoon of sugar. Remember, I'm making a double batch, so I'm putting in two. And uh, one tablespoon of salt. I use sea salt. My favorite. That's 310 grams of water, lukewarm. Mix it all up. It's better when it's like a uh, wet dough. You might think that, you know, this dough is like too wet, but that's how they come out nice and crispy. So, I guess I'll just put it in the mixer. Whatever this contraption is called. Dough mixer. I'm going to leave it in there for like five minutes until it's all stretchy. Hmm. It's almost up. Make sure you get the sides. I need a better dough mixer. Now put some olive oil on uh, your surface. It'll help to keep the dough from sticking and put some on your hands too. dough came out nice and wet and stretchy. It's the kind of dough you need for this recipe. You will need some flour to roll it up though eventually. Right now you just play with it for like five minutes and then put it in a bowl and cover it with plastic and put it in a warm place for about 20 minutes. Let it rise. That looks fine. I'm using the spatula from like auto body repair for stucco or filler. It's new, but it works great for cutting and scraping. I gotta beat that dough. Throw it in some plastic over it.
Okay, 20 minutes later is risen, pooped up, whatever you call it. Now it's time to cut it up and roll it up. Put half of it away and just work with half for now. Throw some flour down on a dry surface. Cut some, uh, pinch out some bowls there. And you can roll it up in like uh, rings, circles, or just long sticks like bread, tubes, or whatever. It's both, it's the same thing. We can fit more straight sticks in a pan and they're just the same thing so I like them better straight So what you do is uh, you make your, uh, you roll it up, then uh, you dip it in uh, water, bowl of water with two uh, tablespoons of sugar, and then uh, you dip it into the sesame seed, make sure it gets sesame seeds all around, and then you put them on a sheet of uh, parchment paper in a tray and you have to let them rise for another 20 minutes cover them with a towel dip in water cover with sesame seed put in parchment paper in a tray Make some circles, some sticks. That looks good. I'm gonna cover them for 20 minutes. Twenty minutes are up. Remove the towel and put them in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes at 400 or 410 it takes me a lot longer than 40 minutes but that's what the recipe calls for I don't know maybe my stove isn't as good Fifty minutes later. Fifty minutes later. They're done. Yep. Nice and crispy. This is all I eat now. Ever since I learned how to make those, that's what I use for bread. So 
So there you go. Thank you for watching. And uh, here's a few pictures. And uh, see you at my next video.